Hello my friends, today is May 20. Our topic is confusion among confirmation. My friends, is there any time you doubted about something although you knew that was very clear and right? Or is there any time you could not sleep, you could not eat, you lost your peace upon a medical result that you were waiting for although you knew it would be for your favor? Or are you confused and feared about the things happening in your own family and you became concerned how your family will be in the future? Our devotion for today comes from Revelation chapter 7 verse 4. And I heard how many were marked with the seal of God. 144,000 were sealed from all the tribes of Israel. My brothers and sisters, when Jesus explained John, who are these 144,000? John and the first time readers very clearly understood. But Satan today trying to confuse you and me and makes people not to understand who are exactly 144,000. For example, 144,000 are only from Israel. 144,000 will the people who go to heaven and so forth. Satan confuses you not only upon this number, but even in your own life. Almost every day he confuses you in your family, in your decisions, in your health, in your marriage relationship, even within yourself. But the question is how to avoid confusions among confirmations. Bible gives you three suggestions. Number one, 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 21. Never live in confusions. My friends, you may have a peaceless life because of unclear understanding and confusions in your lives. Rather than clarify something, do not cry. Do not carry on the confusions in your life. Stop living in confusion. Rather, clarify and move on one after another. People may say some disturbing news about your husband or about your children or even about your siblings. Never trust anything without evidences. Number two, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. Look for evidences. My friends, before you decide and believe anything, please find the clear evidences to confirm. Never decide something based on speculations. Never assume something based on social media, but make your conscience clear based on evidences and scriptural proof. Satan will always make you busy not to think, not to clarify anything. Never give Satan a chance to confuse you. You are doubting, you are confused, and you are not clear because you have lack of information to believe. Number three, Mark 9, 24. Seek God's guidance. My friends, God is the source of your life. God is the God of clear understanding. You speak to God about your confusions, about your fear, about your suspicious thoughts, and God will show you the way for your divine destiny. God will take you through your victorious family relationship. Never be confused. Be clear in your thoughts. Here is the hope for you from Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. See to it that there is no one who takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception in accordance with human tradition in accordance with the elementary principles of the world, rather than in accordance with Christ. My friends, are you confused today in your life? Are you concerned about your family issues? Are you worrying about your confused state of mind? Today, be clear. Look for evidences. Never trust 
based on speculation and assumption. Unless you know something, never take it for granted. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there is somebody here who is so much confused about their lives, about their decisions. They are not peaceful upon the family issues, Lord. Please give them clear understanding so that they can have peace of mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.